A Russian government official has shared a photo that has stunned the world as Kremlin troops claim it is close to a major win in a decimated city deemed crucial in the Ukraine invasion. Moscow has claimed its troops are on the brink of seizing its first major city in Ukraine after more than 1,000 soldiers surrendered from a decimated municipal. Russia's defense ministry announced 1,026 Ukrainian servicemen and servicewomen of the 36th Marine Brigade voluntarily laid down arms and surrendered in Mariupol. Government official Alexander Alamov added 162 police officers, 47 of those women also forfeited with the soldiers near Illich Iron and Steel Works on Tuesday. He shared a photo to social media of a group of unidentifiable soldiers, some with their hands on their heads, as they were loaded into the back of a truck. Stream the world's best correspondence on the ground as the crisis in Ukraine unfolds with flash. 25 plus news channels in one place. New to flash? Try one month free. Offer ends October 31st. Mr. Alamov also reported Russian soldiers provided 151 injured Ukrainian troops with first aid before being transported to nearby Mariupol City Hospital for further treatment. However, a Ukrainian defense spokesman told they had received no information of a surrender. Vadim Denisenko, an advisor to Ukraine's interior minister, said troops were still fighting on the grounds. The battle over the seaport is ongoing today, he said. A satellite view of the port city of Mariupol, with buildings on fire and much of the city destroyed by Russian forces. Picture, satellite image 2022 Maxa Technologies. It would be a huge win for Moscow if it was able to seize Mariupol, as it would provide a land corridor for more troops and supplies to Russian-held east and west regions. Picture, Maximilian Clark Asopa images a light rocket via. Earlier this week, the reportedly surrendered 36th Marine Brigade said it had turned to civilians who remained behind to assist in the brave defense of the city. Soldiers from the battalion feared it would be the last battle, as they became surrounded by President Vladimir Putin's troops. Today will probably be the last battles, as the ammunition is running out, the unit said on Facebook. It's for some of us, and captivity for the rest. Ukraine's general staff said Russian forces had continued attacks on Azovstal, an industrial district which is yet to fall, as well as the port. It would be a major win for Moscow if it seized Azovstal, as it would mean they claim their first major city since the launch of the invasion 50 days ago. A win in Mariupol would give soldiers a land corridor to transport troops and supplies between Russian-held area to the west and east. Russian forces have concentrated shellings and ings in the port city when they arrived on February 24. It's feared thousands of bodies will not be recovered with Ukrainian officials claiming Russia had sent in mobile crematoriums to burn corpses to hide the extent of innocent lives it has taken. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky accused Russia of using phosphorus S on civilians and soldiers. Picture, Ukrainian presidency a handout at Anadolu agency via. President Volodymyr Zelensky later accused Moscow of dropping phosphorus S on troops and civilians following reports earlier this week of soldiers suffering breathing difficulties from an unknown poisonous substance dropped by an enemy drone. Tens of thousands of people have already been in Ukrainian cities that have become victims of Russian strikes against residential areas and civilian infrastructure, he said in an address to the Estonian parliament. The Russian army uses all types of artillery, all types of rockets and S, in particular phosphorus S, and other munitions prohibited by international law.